Tex-Mex chicken pot pie. It's basically the chicken pot pie that I have made for years, but with a Tex-Mex spin, which I tend to do quite a bit. I just added some veggies to an iron skillet, and it's a combination of onions, poblano peppers, jalapeno peppers, and kernels of corn. I've got some butter in there. It was almost getting to the brown stage. Then I'm gonna sprinkle in salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna stir the veggies around until they start to soften. It's gonna take about three minutes. All right, so the veggies are softening away. So now I'm gonna grab a little bit of flour and sprinkle the flour over the veggies. And this will just kind of help the sauce get nice and thick. Stir it around. You always want to stir flour and let it heat up and cook a little bit. All right, so the flour has had a chance to cook a little bit. And I'm going to pour two cups of low sodium chicken broth. Oh man, that's bubbling away. And that's what you want because that means that the sauce will thicken. Also going to add a cup of cream and then some chipotle peppers. So check it out. And then cilantro. I'm gonna save just a little bit to sprinkle over the baked pie at the end. It's gonna take about two minutes to get nice and thick, just like a chicken pot pie should be. All right, Alex, you need to slowly <laughs> come in here and check this out. Look how thick it got. Oh my gosh. And look at all of that deliciousness. So it's a chicken pot pie. <laughs> I bet you were wondering when the chicken was gonna come in. I've got some cooked shredded chicken and you can do rotisserie chicken from the supermarket deli. You can boil the chicken, however you like to get cooked shredded chicken in your life. So this sauce is totally ready. So now I gotta grab the crust. I'm just using the perfect pie crust that I have made forever. It's on foodnetwork.com and it truly is. Perfect. And I'm just putting it over the skillet and letting it just kind of naturally fall over the sides. And as it bakes, that crust is just gonna kind of stick to the side of the skillet and create a perfect top crust for the pie. So next comes the knife. I'm just gonna cut little vents in the top crust because that filling gets so hot as it bakes that it would kind of just break through the crust if you didn't create vents. And then an egg wash. This just kind of gives the crust a little bit of a shine, a little bit of a gloss. So since this is a kind of a refresh of a chicken pot pie, look what I'm gonna do. Pepper jack cheese on the crust. Ooh, what? Somebody yes, call the sheriff. This should be illegal. I'm just gonna put it on a sheet pan because this is a mess when it bakes. 400 degrees, 30 minutes. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Oh gosh. All right. There we go. Then take it out after it bakes and let it cool for 10 minutes. And look, that's what happens to the crust in the oven. Wow. Isn't that pretty? And look at the top crust with the pepper jack cheese. Mm. I've got more chopped cilantro, but how glorious is this, you guys? I mean, that is beautiful. Okay, who wants the first me, plate? Me, me. I didn't really invite you guys on my side of the counter, by the way. I just asked who wanted to try it first. Okay, ready, Alex? Look. Fine, I'll be the bigger person. Oh my gosh, there. that's a big one. Wow. Mercy look. Ready? <laughs> I feel like mm. a third wheel. <laughs> Chipotle's and poblanos. Mm. I taste them. Spicy. Now that is delicious. 